on the left hand side, at least by default on PC. PC and Linux had that, and I, I'm sure you could turn that off, and other distros could have been different. But on PC and Linux, there was that whole row of of icons, and I'd have to go look at it again, but there were just places where it wasn't really logically thought out well. Hmm. I mean, the old PC Linux OS, and I apologize to Tim, I know he doesn't like KDE so much, but uh, as I know it, PC Linux OS, since the early days, around 2000, and like, even 2007, when it became a very popular distro, it was always having the menu. It, it was trying to imitate, to some extent, the XP experience, because it was trying to go for these users, for people who were t- trying to find the, uh, I think, the, the old logo. Did you see the old logo of the PC Linux OS? It used to look like a Windows thing, but it's got kind of a uh, uh, windmill-type look to the uh, to the four wings with the colors. So obviously, they had to change that. Uh, I suppose trademark concerns and things like that, but the, uh, the 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 situation was this was supposed to be your PC that's based on Linux, and I suppose that's part of the name of the distribution. Um, and the way they laid out the thing was very similar to XP with a bar at the bottom. So I'm not sure if you saw you saw a very customized version. And the what you basically just told me is that you've never really used a properly used for a period of time KDE three. Uh, I don't really think it was confusing. I mean, my dad was using it back then on my computer, and he didn't really feel the difference. He was using even Conquer, which isn't the browser people think of as being user-friendly. I, I find it to be even easier than most browsers these days. Uh, but the um, but, but this is what I mean by there is a lot of misconception in the community, either of Windows and Mac users. I don't mean people who used it exclusively. Even people who are just using a mixture of things that don't sufficiently... Uh, show interest in finding out what's possible. Uh, there is no marketing either, so nobody really shows them demos. Nobody really pushes advertisements to show them the capabilities, the 3D stuff. And you know, the 3D stuff has to market itself. People have to be curious to find it because it won't be in commercial breaks. Uh, it won't be on posters and things like that. So I, I just pulled up. It's just a screenshot, but I just pulled up the screen of Conquer. And yeah. I mean, on the left-hand side, this was just a, a default install from PC Linux. Yeah. You have a star, which I'm guessing is favorites. Favorite. Yeah. You have a clock, which is maybe history. You have your home folder. You have a world. You have a little folder. You have an icon that, frankly, I can't figure out what it you is. Can, you can icon. hide this menu. You can just slide it with your mouse, and it goes away if you're not interested. I mean, in my but, case, it's not visible. I just, the, you know, at the top, you have menus, and they, you know, the window is fairly large, but the windows are still roll, uh, wrapping around, so you have help on the next line. You have um, a, a favorites bar, I guess, going across, which is, is cut off. You I mean, don't have to have that. I'm not, I think by default, what PC Linux OS is doing, at least in KDE 4, Based version of the industry. Yes, yeah, this they put they put the default. They put the PC Linux OS help sites and all kinds of new sites, and the favorite bar. You know this from from a person to whom I installed the distro. But the way it's the way it's delivered, for example, in Kubuntu, it's just going to have the search bar, the address bar, and that's about it, and just the menu at the top. Uh, so I think you're might be maybe you're judging something uh, a bit customized to a certain degree, and maybe a person changed that. Um, but I, and I, again, I apologize for being very like specific about a certain scenario. But my you know going into this show, and and, and I was going to like sort of confront in a friendly way uh, the points you were making. I, I think there isn't sufficient understanding of what's you know being done in Linux and how it works. And, and I'm hoping more people who haven't actually tried it will give it more of a shot and, and actually see it's not really difficult. And I, I see people using it. They don't even think, they just start the operating system. It boots very, very fast compared to XP even. And it goes straight into the browser. And the browser is really, you could even use Firefox if you wish to. I, I'm pretty sure, it, I think Firefox comes by default with PC Linux OS. But and I, I think yeah. you're, you're beginning to touch on one of my concerns. So, one of, first, let me just back up. A little bit and and just give a general view on Linux because I'm going to be a little bit critical and I don't want it to sound like I'm critical of Linux in general. Linux is beautiful. Linux is wonderful in the server room, on the developer desktop, on a library desktop where you need a browser and access to one or two databases. Linux is is a brilliant solution and you know, embedded devices. We can go on. I think where you and I have butted heads a little bit is 
on the desktop in just a general desktop, I think it still has a ways to go. And, and I mean, I could quote Mark Shuttleworth. I don't have a quote in front of me, but you know, Mark Shuttleworth has talked about how if you're, if you're interested in, you know, this is not an exact quote, but if you're interested in freedom, if you're interested in cost, Linux is great, but if you're interested in the best usability, we still have a ways to go. And he says we have to catch up with Mac OS. And I can, there's places where Mac OS is not at all what Linux should be. Mac OS is not flexible enough. Mac OS is, is, you know, if I, if I don't want my menu at the top, it's stuck there. Until Lion, I couldn't even resize windows by all the edges. So I'm not, I'm not, one of the things that I'm accused of in other forums is saying, I want Linux to be Mac. Not true. Yeah, what I but the two want... patterns I see, one of them, as so I'm making it very quick, one of them is trying to spin the choice, is diversity or confusion, the choice. Uh, the other thing that I, I see very often is, well, in this case, what you're doing is, is trying to describe a uniform way of doing things as a, uh, as a benefit instead of... Uh, uh, so, so I see this coming a lot from you, basically, trying to advocate Mac based on the fact it's very uniform and it constrains that the users to do certain things in a certain way. I don't think that's even, and I know you're, you're a big advocate of learning and teaching and things like that, and I don't think it's very healthy to uh, grow people within an environment where you impose a view on them or a way of work and you need to give them methods and they have to select the way that they find more more most productive to work with, and, and you cannot assume all of them have the same uh, modality of thinking. You know, some of them like literature, some of them will go to maths and stuff. So not not everyone's desktop is going to work in quite the same way. Some people, yeah. If, if I just right. butt in, sorry, one second. So I just want to put a quick view, because my view sort of falls, and uh, I'll probably be criticized for this uh, later on when this episode is published, but my view falls somewhere in between both of you. Whilst I think that there are plenty of Linux distros which are out of the box ready for a brand new user, and I've sort of proved that over the last few years with the numerous deployments I've made of Linux. Um, I do think that there's some merit to uniformity and the security, and I'll use this in, in terms of familiarity, of the Mac desktop, because uh, my wife is, a, is a, an Apple Mac user, and uh, she's probably my only gauge as to how the average user, in inverted commas, uh, uses their machine and appreciates their machine. And like I've said on numerous occasions, my wife has never ever come to me with a complaint about her Mac. Um, she feels comfortable with it. She uh, knows how, she, how to work it. It's, it is out of the box. And it was like that from the day she bought it, even though she hadn't read the instruction manual. And her Mac that she has now is her first Macintosh. So it's I, I sort of fall in between. But there are, I mean, I think Linux sometimes falls victim of the general consensus that it was it's just for the more advanced user. And I think recently I posted about my brother-in-law who has no computer experience at all, who's happily running CrunchBang, which isn't uh, traditionally a very simple to use distribution. Um, if I may though, before um, Roy and uh, Michael get back on topic, can I just ask uh, Michael, because you, you do a lot of teaching, what would you say, say in your opinion was the biggest stumbling block uh, for Linux, uh, for one of your new users that maybe has come into one of your classes um, it, it, do they have any issues? Would they? Would you see any issues with introducing one of your students to Linux? And if so, what would it be? So, well, yeah, I want to answer that. I also want to get back to some of what Roy is is saying as my views, is presenting as my views, is a but misunderstanding want, of okay. my views. But do you want to do that first? Then do you, questions. Do you, do you want to do that first? Then you can answer the okay. questions. So I am not saying when I talk about how there should be a consistency and there should be a a design to a system. I'm not saying that that's overall. I'm not even, you know, PC Linux could be completely different from Ubuntu, can be completely different from every other distro. In fact, the user should be able to decide. I, I'm not looking for less choice. I'm looking for more choice. I want as the user, do I want when I go to quit this application, do I want it to be quit or exit? And that should be, and I, I realize it's not going to be perfect. I realize that, you know, anything that Linux would grow to would take time, but give me a term. If I'm in a classroom teaching students and they're using applications and I have someone raise their hand and say, how do I quit my application? I should be able to say, you go to file, you go to quit. Yeah. Not which of course is the way it's, you look for quit or exit. Yeah. That's the way it works in Linux. Uh, this is a misconception. If I go to KDE, you can either go with control Q 
which is basically quit. That's the you go to file and quit or control Q. And the other thing you could send to the if if you are more advanced, you could go for the window manager and do a uh, an alt uh, F4 to close the, the window. And that always. Works.